Hey, I'm Oliver Resnick, uh, from Lackamalak First Nation, uh, Thunder Bay, Ontario, born and raised. Um, my First Nation was flooded up in the 50s, um, so most of my family has been in, been in Thunder Bay for that time. I've been in the Indigenous Student Council with the Catholic School Board since 2008, and it's been a great experience, a great journey. Um, I've got an awesome opportunity to work with students, which is a goal I set out for myself when I was a young person, uh, to help out with uh, Indigenous people, Indigenous communities, Indigenous young people, and just let them know that the opportunities that they have are, are, are there, and to take advantage of them, and to help them out where I can. Indigenous Counselors Program, and it's it's been around for, for a long time, but it, it started fairly small, um, with, I believe, well, of course, it started with one counselor, moved to two, and then it slowly expanded, and I believe we're up to six now. It's been a program that's proved uh, pretty positive um, and beneficial for the kids who come to our schools and with our numbers growing it's a it's it, it, it's had a lot of impact on uh, the families and the people that we work with and uh, a positive what we're all feeling for our school and our board as well well when I started I started in the senior elementary schools which was uh, about 12 to 13 12 and 13 um, I guess sometimes as young as 11 um, and I about six years ago, I moved up to the high school, um, which of course is from about 14 to uh, roughly 18. And uh, that's where I am now. And I've been there, I've been, or sorry, I've been here for four years full time as the counselor here, uh, just at the high school, which was nice. It was nice to, to come to one school and settle at one school because it's just easier to keep on top of things and, and you know, have a, have a schedule that, uh, that is consistent with the kids in their days. When I was going back and forth to different schools, it was it was it was difficult if if you had a problem towards the end of the day and it wasn't fully resolved, and then the next day you had to go to another school. There, of course, that situation would be on your mind, and you ultimately leave it in the hands of others. Um, that's hard as a counselor sometimes, just because uh, when you're the person working with uh, an individual. Um, you usually know the ins and outs that you know, and it's hard to get those details over to somebody else. So it's uh, it's 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 been a lot better being in in, in one building um, and overseeing the students of one school because then I'm always there for them. We have a well utilized space. Um, it's it's. It, it's absolutely for everybody. We, we, we host a lot of religion classes, uh, of course, indigenous language classes, uh, history classes, uh, geography has been here uh, before civics, uh, law. We, we've used the, 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 the class, or sorry, the space for a lot of different classes. Uh, teachers just ask me if the room's available. We always are. If we are, I'd let, if we aren't, I'd let them know. Um, but for the most part, it's, it's, it's available for everyone, as well as students who just need uh, a break, uh, a calm place in the school for them to gather their thoughts, get back to normal, get back to where they are, to where they can operate properly within uh, their classes and within education. And, um, you know, give them that little space that hopefully is a, a connection to their, um, you know, in a lot of cases, the Indigenous students and their, their background and reflect who they are and, and, and be a place for them to... Um, you know, basically have and 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 ultimately own. Um, this is their room, so I, I just I just I'm lucky to be a part of it. In terms of counseling, um, my education's in. I, I took three years Native Child and Family Worker uh, a long time ago. Graduated 17 years ago, 18 years ago. Um, went on to Lake University, got an undergrad in Indigenous Learning and Sociology. A lot of the students use this room themselves they come in here and launch a lot of our a lot of our northern students um, I think they like this the seclusion in the smaller areas the less uh, bustling areas which they're used to in their smaller communities so a lot a lot of my kids from the north who I have a great relationship with will come in this particular room um, and be close and it doesn't mean that we're we're involved in any in, in you know, uh, deep counseling or anything like that. It's just a space that they feel comfortable that is happens to be a part, uh, attached to our cultural room. And our cultural room, of course, we use for um, indigenous uh, culture, cultural activities. We drum, we drum once a week. We've got an after school program, which uh, right now we're making a beat against sign. Um, we got an idea to watch a couple of movies and do a couple other art projects as well. Um, and it's, 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 it's very good. It's, it's, you know the kids know it's theirs. They're always they're always taking part, and uh, and it, it's nice for it's a nice change from when I was a younger person. We didn't have the culture room when I when I attended this school because I attended St. Pat's before as well. Um, to now where the kids really feel like they have a space that's theirs, 
uh, can be themselves, can relax. Um, one of the greatest compliments that, that I get from the students is, well, it feels like this place, you know, isn't really a part of the school. It's, it's, it's somewhere where I could just be calm and be myself. And it's, uh, it, it, it gives me a good feeling because I think we're doing the right thing when, when, when that happens. In terms of, say, the law class, uh, uh, the teacher will come in and, and look at the forms of, of, of law uh, that, that uh, you know, maybe First Nations would use before. Um, in terms of religion, although you know our our, our you know our, our, our First Nations don't follow a religion per se, but we do have a spiritual aspect of, of the way we do things, and to, um, and to utilize those whether it's you know smudging, uh, we, we 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 smudge, we we drum, we sing, we uh, you know do a lot of the things that that are there for the spirit of the, of the students as well, and, and make sure they're. Um, you know, being taken care of in that in that way. I think the aim is is to make the kids, uh, of course, be successful in education. Um, you know, it's 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 not a secret that the numbers of our, our graduating student students um, in terms of Indigenous students is a little bit lower than than the mainstream um, students of, of of our town. Um, so we're we're of course doing what we can to to bring that level up to to let the kids know that uh, you know we're. There, there's a place for them to within these walls within within our within our board our school board, um, and as well for the, for them to know that they could prosper and and do well uh, in our education system too. So to, to to help them along that that educational path is is the reason why we're here, as well. Um, yeah, just uh, you know, I, I, me as a counselor um, with, with with a background in counseling. Um, it's 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 really nice to be there and help them through some of the unique problems that us Indigenous people face. Um, which could be unique to, to each community or each individual or each family and and, and, and you know to help them through those times um, because that was you know that was a big goal of, of mine um, coming out of this high school because I, I just saw a lot of the issues that we do have within our community um, and how I could hopefully make a difference and impact some of the people that we work with and some of the families that are here. Um, I grew up with a lot of Fort William First Nations people going to St. Elizabeth just across the way here and they always looked out for me so I feel very blessed to be able to work with their kids and their next generation and look, kind of give back to, to what they gave me. So it's yeah, it's, it's a cool little connection. Well, one of my favorites has to be is drumming. I just, uh, Mr. Lane, our, our, he, he's in our religion department, he's taught at now before as well, a uh, great guy. Um, he is the, 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 the drum carrier and he protect, he looks after our drum, takes it home, um, when he has to and, and, uh, looks after it, but he also brought it into our school, which I'm so grateful for. And I didn't have much drum experience, although ever since I was a young guy, I was always drawn to it. Of course, when you go out of a pal, you always, who isn't when you get out of your car, you, you go, you go straight to the circle into the drum. Um, but it was always something I, I dreamt of doing. I just didn't really have those connections growing up. Um, I grew up pretty, pretty urban. In, in within this town and uh, those opportunities weren't quite there um, so when Mr. I'm, I'm forever grateful for him to, to bring the drum in and to do it now and we were just drumming at lunch and it was absolutely amazing and I get to know all these songs um, and learn these songs and to just have a drum going on within the halls of our school it seems like something that's pretty amazing and and, uh, and and you know it's 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 very different from where we came historically where it was illegal to drum and illegal to have powwows so it's 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 really, uh, it represents the change that has happened and, and, you know, being able to see all the positive things that are going on within our, our First Nations community and to bring um, that culture into our school is just, is something really cool and, and great to be a part of, so I'm, I'm grateful for it. If there's something going on or, or one of us isn't feeling that well, well, say, let's go drum a little bit. Let's, let's, or let's have a smudge or, you know, some of the things that we do as First Nations people to let loose, to, to, you know, to unwind a little bit. And, and it's great. I mean, I, I still have, after we, we sang today, um, I, was, I keep singing the song. It's when, when we're around the kids in the hallway, like I'm, I'm maneuvering through the kids at lunch and the song's still in my head, I'm still singing. So it's, it's, it's an amazing thing to, to be a part of and for me to develop too as a person um, and, and be able to bring it in the schools. I'm just, uh, very happy to do it. It's, it's very cool. Just to help my memory, I'm going to bring up all the pictures we have, uh, just so I, I don't forget anything. Um, yeah, we do a lot of our art projects. Uh, that's where, that's kind of our focus right now. We're we're looking to make our room uh, ours and 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 put up some of the some of the. Uh, artwork that we do, we, I, I put the plans in front of the students, students decide on what we want to do, we, where we, 
we've developed a couple be begin signs, um, and we've got we've got another one that we're working on right now where each student uh, is doing a letter on, on a canvas, and we'll eventually finish it up, and it'll go on the wall out here. Um, also, we. We have the we've had the AMP program in town, which is the Aboriginal or, or in our school, which is the Aboriginal Mentor Program. Um, it's run through LEU. Uh, they send in a couple of people, run a, run, a, run run some programs that connect students to the university, uh, make the connection of showing that it is not unattainable, it is not so far fetched, and it is something that a lot of us do as, as Indigenous people. We we get connected with the university, we go to school. It's our treaty right, so it's it's a good good opportunity to be able to go to. The, to go to school and pursue your education, so that's that. That's a huge one. That was a great one, and, and it's really it ran really well. Um, as well, uh, we're hoping to do it again. And and if 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 anything, right now it's by request. The kids come back and they want to be a part of the app program this year. I want to be a part of the app program. So we're uh, I'm really looking forward to getting that up and running again. Uh, we'll, I'm sure we'll be making the contact before Christmas and, and get that going. Really excited for it. As well, we did the the hospital tour, which is the career of all the. Uh, kind of a tour of all the careers that you can you can take within the hospital and even I was blown away by that you'd think it was just doctors and nurses but there's an admin side of things there's running the plant that run the hospital there's uh, working in the foods department there's so many opportunities there and it's 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 such a big um, it, it, it's such a big uh, part of our city that it's and, and employs so many people that it's a great opportunity for kids of this area to be a part of. So we just we, we get to show them that. Uh, one of my favorites, and I think all the students' favorites, is our day on the land that we do in in the spring. And last year was fantastic. Mr. Lane brings the drum out. We've had people from IFC, the Indian Friendship Center, come and do their teachings with the kids. Uh, we eat. We go for a walk. We we walk to the beach. We uh, we're in nature for the entire day. Um, for most years, it's it's usually sunny and nice. So it's just uh, an amazing day for us to be. Uh, you know, in the in the semi-rural bush, and 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 you know, let the kids kind of be kids and be themselves and connect with each other, and uh, just to see all the positives that come from it. Um, I can't think of one behavior problem over the what six years I've been doing it. I don't, I don't I've not not had one, and. So it's, it's, it's just an amazing thing that we get to do. I'm um, thinking of doing one in the fall as well, just to get the kids together and connected and, and be able to, uh, in the elements as well. So because that's such an important for, uh, you know, piece of who we are as Indigenous people and for them to get an education that way. Um, as well, the, uh, the LU tour itself, getting to see getting to see the school, um, the college tours as well, taking kids out to the post-secondary institutions and seeing that the opportunities that are there for them. Um, in my counseling as well, with a lot, a lot of times it happens with senior students, but we get I've got you know my drawer full of ninety programs uh, that the college has to offer. Um, going through there because you never know what you might want to do, but there are all these options. So we start you know start planting those seeds of, of education in their head at the, at the younger ages and hopefully they develop into what they want to do. Um, we've, we've had a couple of cool programs. Last year was the Orca program where kids got to go to Fort William Historical Park, uh, get, a, get a canoeing, um, uh, a certificate for canoeing to be able to do it properly. Um, they also spent a few nights there and got a lot of Indigenous teachings with it and made a lot of lifelong friends. It was something just amazing. Again, the kids are requesting that for this year. So it's, it's, it's a great... Uh, you know, it's, it's a great thing to have. The APSIP tour uh, that came through in September, um, Wadala, and, you know, it, it's great that those people, uh, and, and that these institutions have these people reaching out to the Indigenous students and come to our school, present to, present to each of our students and start answering those, and are able to answer the questions that the kids might have um, in their in their uh, possible uh, pursuit of secondary or post-secondary education. So yeah, it's uh, it's it's been amazing. I'm just I'm just thinking of a couple more things here. We do, of course, fall harvest, uh, which you've been a part of yourself over the years, and you've been a part of most of these things over the years. But um, you know, just getting those those teachings out in the elements as well, such such an important thing. The day the kids are looking for it every year as well. It's just another another one of the things that our city does um, that that really uh, you know I think. Um, helps the indigenous kids connect uh, to who they are and, and, and what their history is. It's so nice to, to, to be a part of this um, growing growing thing in our school board, which is, uh, you know, which, which serves our, our indigenous community and our indigenous students and, and kind of letting them know what they have out there and, uh, and showing them that there's opportunity too. Uh, there are a lot of different ways you can measure the success. I mean, um, as a counselor, of course, I just... 
And I kind of follow up with a lot of students with just the, how do you feel? And if a student comes in down and having a tough day and they, they leave here feeling better and, and have some tools to deal with what they're dealing with, then that's a successful day for me. Um, you know, to be able to get them back into, you know, their classes, because of course we're an educational institution as well. So to get them back in their classes and not have to, to think about some of those problems that each and every one of us have at, at, at certain, uh, to certain degrees in our life, um, then, then that's a success as well. Um, just, uh, you know, the, the utilization of the room itself, um, you know, being able to tie our room and our culture and our, our history into all of these different classes. Earlier, I talked about all the classes that come down and how it fits into each and all of these, these, these uh, you know, different subjects. It's, it's really neat to see how much of an impact we've had as First Nations people on this area and this country. So it's, it's, it's yeah, it's a, it's a cool thing. Again, I, I keep selling broken record, but it's a real cool thing to be a part of. Indigenous education is, I, I think, you know, there, personally, I think there's, there's a starting point for it. I think, of course, understanding the history is a great thing. Um, in terms of, you know, us as a school, um, you know, a, a provincial school, um, we, we, we recognize that quite a bit because we are in the north. Our, our population is higher for Indigenous students. And sometimes with the, with the province, it's hard to, for, for maybe them to understand that, of, of how big our, our Indigenous population is. So to, to, if, if we could get those, those history lessons to everybody, and then I think it's easier for all of us to move forward, and that, that's a great, great thing. Um, but as well, just, you know, the, the, the true learning of Indigenous people being out, uh, nurturing the roles of what you do for your community. Um, you know, when we're, when we're out, you know, I've got kids helping me build a fire, I've got kids looking for wood, I've got kids, you know, and those are the kids, and they naturally go to those things, which is very much our, our, our way of doing things. Um, you know, so, uh, you know, th those aspects of it, be being out, um, you know, getting out, whether it's, you know, learning about our environment, learning about the water, learning about the trees, learning about the medicines, of course, um, as well as, as the things that keep us who we are, the medicine wheel teachings, uh, it's, uh, some grandfather teachings, um, which has been with us forever. Um, though that's, that's very much um, Indigenous education. And it, it, it as well comes up in a lot of these different subjects and, and it can be utilized there. Um, as a guide for, for um, Indigenous education. So I think, um, you know, and as well, just recognizing it, recognizing the contributions uh, that that Indigenous uh, culture, history bring to all these element, other elements of life. And I think we're just getting to that point of, of, of change. And I think we're starting to recognize how beneficial a lot of our teachings, a lot of our wisdom can be in, uh, you know, the Western society. Um, you know, you see the hospital doing it now. You see uh, courtrooms doing it. You see policing doing it. You see all these benefits from what are our basic teachings, what are our, our basic teachings. Um, so it's, it's, it's amazing to, um, you know, start seeing these things. And, and even just this conversation is helping me recognize um, all the good things that are happening. So it's, 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 it's great. Yeah, it's nice. My vision for the next 10 years would be, um, I think, you know, of course, adding a, a lot of what we have and where we've come from in terms of all those great teachings into uh, many of the subjects that are out here now, because I think it, it only benefits them. Um, but as well, I think, you know, in terms of a city and, and a community, the, the, the history teachings um, to be involved in the curriculum would probably be a good thing. Um, I'm not a teacher. Uh, I'm not a teacher myself, but as a counselor, I can, I've seen over the years in, 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 a, in a school board how beneficial, uh, um, you know, our Indigenous history can be. And I, I think I really... I really feel that way because when I was finishing high school and we didn't get a lot of teachings or a lot of history of, of who we are, um, I pursued it, of course, in my, in my education as, as, you know, a, a counselor at the college and then as, as Indigenous learning at, at the university. Um, I, I wanted to learn this stuff and I wanted to, to, to know about it. And I, I just think it's something that would be so beneficial if it started at these younger ages and you think of, you know, something like racism and how much that would go away if, if we were aware of each other. I think it's, 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 it's a known fact that, you know, in a lot of cases, humans are, are afraid of what's unknown. So if we enlighten, you know, 
general population to who we are and what our history was and the contributions that we've made and we look at our, ourselves in a positive light, how beneficial that could be for this entire community. So I see um, I see my kids growing up in a, in, a, in a place where their history and their background is respected and and um, you know, and they're proud of it, and they get to they get to they get to learn it at a younger age than I did, and and, and not on, not just on their own, not through our educational systems that we, that we have in place right now. That's that that's where I'd hope we'd be in ten years. You know, I really appreciate you guys doing this. I appreciate this study. I appreciate looking at these things. Um, like I mentioned earlier, it's nice to see all this. Dr. So and so, who's you know, I recognize the last name is Mueller from you know the North Shore, um, and and to see these people in these these great positions and try to impact education and and, and you know um, do better things for not only Indigenous people in our community but our country. I think we're all in this together, and I think that's a teaching as as a, as a First Nations person. Um, so we've got we've got to work for everyone. You know, the original treaty is like. You know, one of the wampum belts where we're both there together and we're able to move move forward together without, you know, um, affecting each other in a, in a negative way. I think we, there's there's a way we could always all move forward and, and respect each other. And I hope that, you know, that is, that, that's what we're getting out of this. And I think we are. Hey guys, I'm uh, Oliver Asnack, Indigenous Student Counselor with the Thunder Bay Catholic District School Board. I'm uh, going to give you a little tour of our cultural room that has gone up about three years ago. Um, and we're so proud of it, and we're, it's, it's an awesome room, and it's definitely the students' room. It's, it's, it's their room, and I'm just so grateful to be a part of it. So here we are. We've got our information board, things going on in the community, um, different things go up and, and, and come down as, as, as they happen in the community. Uh, a little bit of our art project, our, our library, which we, were, which we were lucky to have and, and have a lot of support to, to grow. And a lot of good information there. Um, of course, our drum. Uh, Mr. Elaine is the keeper of the drum. I'm so grateful for it. Which we show us. Um, and we get to drum. We usually drum on it weekly. Um, and, and if a little more if need be. Um, as well, as some of the art projects that we've had in the past. The orange t-shirt, no, no Child Left Behind. Uh, where we get to view movies with, with the students. Um, we're, gonna be, we're gonna be watching Indian Horse in the, in the next couple of weeks. So I know it's a very impactful movie, but we will have the students prepared. Um, but awesome little feature of the room as well. Um, our, our table, and it's a little messy right now. We've got the kids working on some art projects and some students uh, doing homework here as well. So this is our, this is our table. Uh, we've got a couple of computers here as well for the students to use. Some student artwork, uh, some sage, uh, hanging in the West, as it should be. Um, some leather chairs for kids who need to just relax and take a load off and, and get their mind uh, back together before they head to class. And then some artwork that was purchased for us by the board as well. So this is our culture room. And of course my office connected to it. So yeah, we're, uh, we're, we're, we're grateful at St. Pat's and we're lucky to have it. And uh, yeah, this is our space.